Now it's time to sort out this jigsaw piece. I'm going to assemble the back cabinet, put it in, scribe it and cut it. And get it fitting there first. Once it's fitting in there, I'll then do the second cabinet. This is the unit I've getting. It has got a wine bottle holder in. I've never seen one like it. I don't drink wine, but I might start. This is what I like about it. All the fixing points. Rather than using the little plastic blocks, it seems a lot stronger. We'll get it up, see what it's like. I've now built the unit up to see if it'll marry up. Just to see where my cut's going to be. I'm going to cut that wheel arch there to get it back as the other side's clear of the wheel arch. See down there. So if I cut that side, get it back, and then I'll be able to scribe it. That side's now done, all stenciled in. I'll spin you around, you can have a look at that. I'm really happy with that. All in. The problem I've got now is when I've put the cupboard in, there's a wine rack holder, and it fits into them three sections at once. So I need to pull it out and see if I can put it together a bit differently. I don't know how, but we'll find out. Finally in now, that was the last top. Scribed and fitted lovely. I have got a gap down the back of there, but I can't make it any smaller due to the size of the battery which goes in there, which is 210 mil wide. And that's what the gap is now. I want to put some kind of upstand on the back of there, so it should look alright. But I would definitely recommend it. Only downside I can think of is when you're painting it, the black trims on here, you can't get you can get them off the doors, but you can't get them off the top of the worktop. Uh, so a bit of a funny one. I'll not be able to get it off that side either. So I'm just gonna mask them off and paint them. But £225 all in. Just did a little bit of final trimming just on this back edge. As you can see it blended in with the other piece. I'm really happy with that. See on the back end, nice fit down there. So it's time to take bits out and start to paint it. Starting with the doors and then once I've painted it I will be putting the electrics in here as well. That's them all painted now, the doors. Here's the bench unit. I'm not painting inside the wine rack holders. I might put lights in though. Yeah, it looks well. Two coats on. Two coats on. I've just received my cab divider blind. I'm going to get this in before I put the units in. The blind is in. Only problem I've got is it comes with two press studs on the side. One there, and one down there. It really needs more to keep this pin back, and it needs one at the bottom of there. Overall, though, that's a good fit. It's one reel, and it does bend round and sides nicely. Uh, it doesn't change the shape of the channels, so you can all get it back in. Should I say, get it all back in? Yeah, just could do with a few studs on there. It is stretched as well. So I could stretch that further down. So I'll get a box of them ordered and get that fitting better. But overall £35 from Van Style, you can't go wrong. It's absolutely cracking. A lot, of them, a lot of them do come in two pieces, which I didn't want because I'd end up with a bigger gap. I'm starting to put the electrics in today. I've already did the cutout for the control panel. And I know why you're in the live system in. And carrying on. 
and here it is finally finished and in all the electrics are in of what I need at the moment I will be adding other ones not quite yet I will be putting lights in the wine holders wine bottle holders that's why I haven't painted them either there will be a red or a blue more likely a blue yeah I'm very pleased with it it's all fixed in it won't be moving now the lights are all in they're on switches and they're on a remote as well I'll just show you how that works all of them are off there are the van lights all of them are on or individually I can turn them on and off charging port the voltage that's in the battery at the moment also a cigarette lighter I'll show you around the back that's it from another angle colours turned out great as well here's all the electrics what I've got in at the moment still got a few alterations to do I'm going to try and make the wardrobe actually into a wardrobe and work on one. So I've got a pole I'm going to be putting in. It ain't going to hold much, but it's going to hold something. And then where this bit is here, a triangular unit, door, shall I say. I want to keep the shape as what it is, of what it is, come along to the electrics on the bottom, and then box them in the temporary panel that and take out when I'm adding stuff. So these are the two pieces I've cut. One in the angle for this bit. And the flat for the bottom. I've just marked it up to cut the cables into there. So let's get that cut, get that cut, and I'll bring this back when it's in place. After a few tweaks of cutting the cables out, I've made it where this bottom section is removable so I can access the lower part of the electrics, and the po top part is removable. So you sit the top part in first, slide the bottom in. They are some braces that adds to it as well strength I'll get them in and show you that's that section boxed in nice and solid both panels do come out bottom first then the rear so I can access a fuse board which I can get from the rear on this bit here I want to build a fascia and leave the isolator hanging out yeah it's nice and solid happy with that got a couple of bracings in it the fascia I'll probably be doing last to be honest with you Next to the wardrobe bit in the back, I've got a coat hanger, which I have getting in the back, and I've got a reel to be putting in, and I'll be boxing the lower section in, putting some storage in there as well. That's a wardrobe pole in. Actually works great. There's two jackets in there. Also hang some dry bags on there, other things. Got my trainers down there. Got the shoe brush down there camera stand that works a treat making the most of the space a lot of people leave this empty I don't know why yeah it's cracking I'm currently mocking up the bed giving us some measurements we have getting it is it's going to be going to the front of this little panel here the grey panel you're going from there and be coming along, you're going up and it'll be coming down. When it comes down, it's going to end around here. And from there, I'll be fitting a cushion extra to make it come out, which will be in line with here. So, in total, it'll be 47 inches long from there to the front part over there. And that'll be in two sections, so I'll have another section of 47, which will come out. Slide that way as it's 192 centimeters long. So I'm just getting some sizes now. I will have a little hands gap down on this side. See the mattress will be stopping around here, which will allow the cushion to come out and sit nicely on here. So I'm gonna get some cut, get some legs knocked up and put them in place. I am making it to suit the mattress I've bought. So I've already had the mattress in and I'm making this to suit. So this is the start of the base, 
the rear vent here will be fixed in place with a flap here to open for access front end will be sliding in between the rear and we'll be putting stops so it can't go any further than what it should so what I want to do now is the plywood put the piano hinges on and then put that into place once I've done that which will only be fixed at the front section and the rear section I will then start putting this down fixing it down shall I say I've already tried the mattress on which I will do again yeah. so that's the mattress on just to give you a rough look at what it's going to look like will be plyboard on there and a fascia board on there as well and that's the front a little bit of an overhang yeah really happy with that the boards will be coming to about here so that overhang there will be with plywood that'll tuck away nicely under there I'm just putting the piano hinges on in the opposite directions to allow it to fold once I've got this into place I'll then decide I'm doing the rear which will go from about here down over which is going to be fixed and this part here will be a flap that opens for full storage as you ain't going to get much between there and there so this is where I'm at with the seat I'll spin you around and I'll show you where I'm up to I've got the seat base in the back the back of the rear end and now I'm doing the base the base is going to be fixed so I'm working up the angles as you can see I've done it twice for this section here this will be fixed down I want to have a front cover which is hinged from the front which will come up and lock out so it will be a bit of a footrest as well so chill from the, the rear area which I think is a nice little add-on which I've thought of so when I get that piece cut once I get our section in I'll be putting the piano hinge on fixing it all in place testing it on the pull out what I have done is under here this will be fixed put a bracing in there I've also attached two guides as this bit here comes out past there the guides help guide it back in rather than it dropping out which that there as well as a bracing acts as a stop so that'll be on there as a seat and on the other side we've got a 20 mil overhang which is under there what I'm going to do now is put another piano hinge around here so I can use this as an access area to get under the seat. If I can do that, it means I can get the Threshford toilet and store that under there when the full bed comes out. As the full bed comes out around here, I've got a 190 mattress and then I've left a little bit extra as cushions. As me, the other half and the dog will be staying on it. So that there fits perfect under there. I made the height of the seat based on the height of that. Which has given us a little bit of a gap over the arch, which is still need to insulate. There it is, folks. Built, just needs a fascia board on the front and the rear. The rear one will be hinged down over for access for storage. This one here, I'm doing a fixed fascia board. For the simple reason, I can put my hand in and lift it up for storage. I can put the toilet and other things like the kayak under. I've got a lot of room there. And on the back, it sits like that. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'll show you it working. So that's how it is. There'll be a cut out in the front bit for your hand to go through. Grab it, pull it, and that's it. The extra cushion up there will be the pillow. To put it back up, it's simple as put your hand on the side of here. Push. Like that. All the way in. Nice little lock at the back. Right guys, I just thought I'd show you the rock and roll bed I've designed and made without the top on. I've cut the fascia board, squared it with a front panel. I've also scribed in the back this cavity here. As I still have the top lifting up to get storage in, which are bigger, such as a kayak. I also want a quick access hole in the front, which I want to put a pop lock on. I just thought I'd give you a look at the sort of the mechanism of how it works if you want to call it 
I've got support to the side of the van. The outside frame's fixed to the floor. And on the bottom here, that's just keeping the floor flat so it doesn't lift. There's a cutout and the front fascia board will be coming up and around here. So when I pull it out, any mat or rug I've got there, I will go over. I don't have to take that up. So literally give it a pull, comes out. You've got your supports there. This will be the main end of where we'll be sleeping. So we are supported down there. The 9mm pliers spot on as well. So yeah, that's it. And then two guides here at the rear. Guide it under there. But if I want to pull it out further, which does come a bit further, I can. And it goes back in there. You'll just hear a little bit of a click. Goes to there and then that's it in. Yeah, I'm going to be putting two 8mm bolts from the rear here through on either side. Drilling holes in there putting big lock nut handles on to keep it back. It won't move, it shouldn't move, but I'd rather it stayed still on the bumpy roads. Yeah, I'm happy with the design. Fascia board in place. I am awaiting for the 9mm flush hinges, which will be going on there. I'll also be touching a nice handle to go across the top of here so I can grab it, slide it in and out. And at the same time as getting the hinges for that, I'll be doing the rear. So that's a fascia board complete with securing handles so that they cannot pull out now. Secure on both sides. So today I've put that fascia board on. On the pop locker at the bottom. Which will come up as a footrest for the seat at the back. I have made a plate. Should I say a board for that side. That's already made. I'll show you on the side. That one's already done. I made that plate for there. Which covers the step out, the handles are clear of them, and I've got the front pop locker there. I've got to get the bed, put holes in it, as I don't want to get a lot of, any mould in it, I want to let it breathe. So the boards there will be getting covered with holes. And you put a, a few bracings on the actual bed itself. As you have got a lot in this section, not many in the other, so I want to brace that. Uh, and that'll be sort of the bed done, get it painted. Get that in. Today is the painting day. I'm painting the bed, the side cover for the front of the bed, the rear fascia, front fascia, and some other bits. That's the painting of the boards done. One coat went on. It absorbed it nicely. There's no need for a second coat. You're only going to, you're only going to be seeing the edges on some of them. I mean, that front fascia board you're going to see. You're going to see the rear fascia board, side panel cover. Uh, you're going to see the edges, certain bits of this. I'm getting a cushion made for this rear section down there. Hopefully you'll not see any of that, but you will see the edge again on that. Now on here, that's a front one, the finish is beautiful. That's it all in after being painted. I'll show you the other side. Same colour paint as the cabinet. So I have got my storage under there. Handles to pull it in and out. Pop locker. Similar on the rear. That's fixed. See so that's moving. Holes for the ventilation. And that is a pop locker as well. Storage under there. I've trimmed this down as it means now I can get my cool box in there perfect. So that's a DIY rock and roll bed done. Has saved us a lot of money. Has took us a bit of time as well. Don't get us wrong. But I've customised it to what I want. I've got a storage on the front there, pop locker. This full thing does lift up as well for storage. 
that's my Threshford toilet with a cushion pad on the top, it's a 365, works at a perfect height and it can be stored under there when I take the cushion out. Yeah, it's a lovely size. I bought the mattress from eBay, it was about £90 and then I made the bed around it. So I've got a nice base to get both of us on, getting the spoil out on us. So this is how the rear is looking at the moment. I'll just put that seat base in, 20 quid from Amazon, cut the corner, push it in nicely. Absolute bang and size. Cool box still fits in nice, 12 volt supplied on there. Here's my DIY fly net, bought it off Amazon, 15 quid for a window. So it seals at the bottom on the velcro, magnets in the middle. It does look a bit skew with, but that's because I fitted it perfectly at the sides. But I'll show you now. So the magnets all click together, velcro at the bottom. Go all the way along the top, down the side, fully along the top of there, down, and around at the bottom. So yes, it doesn't look perfect, but it does the job. That's all that matters. So what I'll be doing is I'll take the velcro off, wall it up, I'll tie it up with a roof and a couple of hooks. It's now finished. I've put the final light in. It's now getting a little bit dark, so I'll give you a look at what it looks like. That's it, I fitted the light underneath the bench. I'm gonna switch over there. So it's separate to every other light. Same with the wine bottle holders. Just fitted my carbon monoxide alarm just up there. We'll be doing a little bit of cooking, but not too much. Fire extinguishers in the cupboard. So I'll just add that nice glow to the floor when I'm watching the tablet, the TV, things like that. I went back from the idea, put one on top of the wardrobe, but just, I've got the lights out and set them on. Turn them on. Uh, I've got the different percentages 100, 50, 25, and then dim them down from there. And they don't draw much either. So I'll only be running things like USBs or things such as my phone and tablet. Cool box on the back runs off a 12 volt in the corner, which is supplied from the van, so it won't be using any of me. My battery, I'll have ice in, so it'll do its job just fine. There's my little thread for it. Take the puffy out the top of there, where I've got a cushion in there, take that out, fits under there, spot on. Actually doesn't really rattle either, but one little squeak. So I'm really pleased with making the bed and getting away with all the noises. But yeah, I'm buzzing. It's come on well. Put a lot of hours in, a lot of hours. I feel for anyone doing a van conversion, but it is definitely worth it at the end. So I'm going to give it a trial this weekend. We're going to Kielder. Going to go to Elfkirk Viewpoint. £10 for the night. Give it a try. Hopefully have some nice skies and some lovely stars. Um, we've got a couple of weeks, like a couple of outings of trying it. And then we've got Scotland for 10 days. Yeah, it's been a challenge. I'm pleased it's done now. Our puppies will add to it in time, normal and need, and things like that. Uh, a couple of little extras here and there, like little ducklets. But I, I've enjoyed it. Uh, it's done in time, like I said, so I'm happy. I'm going to be going away in it a few times. I've got Scotland for 10 days. If you've enjoyed what you're seeing, give it a subscribe, give it a like. Any questions, drop them in the comments, I will answer. And you will be seeing future vlogs from me on this.